a new day, a new project. So here I am again with my trusty TS100. You see the display was replaced like uh, more than one year ago. And I've been asked if it's still working. Yes, it's working great. It's a very, it's a, it's a very easy way to replace the, the screen. It's not a big problem. You can do it very easy with a small soldering uh, iron. So uh, let's see a footage uh, from the previous video about that. So this is the display straight from the factory. I bought it from Buy Display and it's looking like uh, the link is not good anymore, but you have a new link in the description. You see, I open up the um, soldering iron, the TS100. It's very easy to do that. A couple of screws, a few screws. Get the tips off. And that's the board over there. We have another two small screws keeping the tip in place. That needs to be replaced too. And uh, we get access to the board and to the display itself. And that's the little bastard. It's kept in place by two double tape pieces. Get rid of that, but don't throw it away because you need it for the new one. And uh, let's get ready for this soldier, this one, the broken one. Yeah. So this one should go out. Let's see if it's the same. Yeah, it's looking the same. Up there, it's the new one. Yes, it's looking the same. So let's have the replace. I'm using a small soldering iron. A lot of flux, of course. The old one is out. And let's go with the new one. Pre prepare the, the place before. With a low mat soldier if it's possible. And be really careful because the because too much heat will damage the the ribbon. It needs to be pushed down very well in the moment when you make the soldering. Just push it down with a And here we are again. I'm using, of course, the original power supply, 19 volts. And uh, what I have done over here, it's 19 volts, 2.1 amps. What I have done over here, I put some holes all around. It's not a danger as long as you don't throw it in the water. Why? Because uh, to have better cooling, for the power supply, it's a, it's a need when you're working a lot of hours and uh, you really push the the TS100. And now, excuse my connection over here. So I need to replace the cable in a hurry, and uh, somehow it's looking weird, but it's working. Well, guys, you see display it's working as it should after more than one year absolutely okay i tried to have uh, the free open firmware for a better heating to 450 degrees celsius but I don't want to mess with uh, with this anymore. So this is the original firmware. Now I'm using this kind of tip because let's say when you need to hit a lot of surface like here, you need a lot of uh, power too. I have some other tips for small 
parts like this ones here all I can say that it's working great and the description you're gonna have a, a link to the new the new display page it's looking like the world one look here it's working absolutely marvelous it's looking like uh, this model of display I'm using now it's uh, out of stock or something or maybe they replace it uh, the model look here Mm, this is ruined. <laughs> nice, nice job. Sunday job, of course. And by the way, let's take a quick look at the schematic. We have a microcontroller, STM32, F10, 3T, and so on. And uh, this is the OLED M00881. And we have the connections to the OLED and uh, that's a CN2 that's for the touch buttons we have a operational SGM 8551 the micro USB connection there with a few diodes and uh, two MOSFETs CGQ 4953 and some other circuits around here, the one supplying 3.3 volts, that's for um, for the com microcontroller, A6-6203. And that's the whole schematic over here, the connection to the tip, of course. I may say that I'm impressed. It's a really piece of technology inside this, such a small uh, device that keeps the temperature steady and uh, delivers the power when it's necessary the replacement it's very easy to be done you need a soldiering iron a soft one i can call it not too much temperature because that ribbon it's very easy to get ruined by the overheating and then you really need to push down the connections to the board because it needs a really strong soldering so after one year the display it's in good shape same brightness working great well thanks for now i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe like and until new project wish you well be safe and bye bye